Alright, welcome back. This is Doofus K. Uh, welcome to the <clears throat> next episode of my Farming Giant video series. Um, I've given up on trying to remember which episode this is because I tend to record these in fairly large chunks. So, this may be number six and maybe number seven. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but uh, as you can see, a couple things have changed here. Um, let's see if I can remember here. Uh, we added this large cow buyer. Uh, we don't actually have any cows in it yet. Uh, but we will. We have another main building, so we can have more workers. And then we have a medium-sized barn uh, to hold uh, some more grass. So we still have this one. So what the plan is, is to sort of shift all this stuff kind of over this direction. Um, and we want to kind of expand up here. Um, now I've learned a couple things in a different save file of mine. And I probably will do... Uh, some things differently here in the future. For example, um, I think I mentioned I was going to do the mill. Um, I probably won't actually um, until I can unlock the large one. Um, the mill takes a, a lot of effort and I kind of want to focus on kind of this stuff here. Um, and so I'm not, I'm not going to do that just quite yet. So let's see, I can actually get the large, okay, I have a large one, I don't have a large chicken coop, which is unfortunate, and I do want to get into pigs too, um, since I have this cold storage, uh, we can, we can start cranking up this, this butchery here, uh, so what do we unlock, okay, we unlock the large chicken coop next, so maybe I'll just, I'll just wait for that, but, uh, the other thing I've learned is, uh, F1, and this is actually a huge, huge thing. So if you notice here, you know, it says animals, and then it actually says what, what they eat. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this all means here, um, but it, I, it seems to me that, especially with the chickens, if you feed them both corn and wheat, they do um, reproduce faster. And so the same thing with pigs, like we need grass, pumpkins, and potatoes. Um, and so, you know, horses just take grass, sheep take, it looks like just grass, as well as rabbits. Um, so, and then the other key, key point is this thing here. So like this corn, I don't think I've been spraying with insecticide, I think I've been spraying with herbicide. Um, but it, you know, clearly like wheat takes herbicide and insecticide. So this is, this is huge right here. Um, probably not such a big deal for like this, like, you know, this really doesn't tell you much of anything, I mean, um, but for the, um, the actual plant products, this is critical, so keep that in mind, and then the vehicles, like, you know, um, buildings and stuff will give you this kind of information as well, you know, not, not totally important, but I mean, you can sort of see, like, how many workers you need for some of these bigger, um, some of these bigger buildings, but, uh, you know, not, not totally critical right now, but, uh, 40 kilowatts a day, kilowatt hours a day for a silo, I guess, um, so yeah, I mean, there is lots, I mean, pretty much everything you need to know is in this, is in this screen, and I actually didn't know about this until, like, just recently, um, so, so let's, uh, let's see what we need to do here. I've kind of forgot what I was doing in this game. Um, so, need to, I believe, move some cows over here. So where are these guys harvesting? They're harvesting into here. Alright, so let's just move... What do we got going on here, then? Why is there a vehicle task? <laughs> okay, so he's... I've stopped doing this, so let's just do that. And then uh, let's move all the cows over here. We, this thing is full of grass, so that's fine. Okay, so we want to do two... Oh, so I've already kind of like started to do this. 
I've been playing a different save file at home just to kind of play a little bit ahead so I kind of like remember to <laughs> kind of remember how to play this game. Um, it is actually interesting because in my other save game um, I've made some interesting dumb choices so um, I can make that knowledge help me out in this game. So technically, we can sort of... Why is this taking so long? Good heavens. So the one thing that I did learn in my other save file is that the, you know, the finished product, um, not enough workers. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, the finished products, like the meat and the bread and stuff, they do make you a lot more money, which is to be expected. So if, if you have the chance, you know, doing this butchery and, um, oh, hail, that sucks. Um, doing the butchery and, uh, and that process is, is a lot better. I don't know where that vehicle was getting that order from. That's really weird. Oh, that was probably from the barn to here. Aha! <laughs> yes, clever. Alright, so this guy's empty. We don't really need the grass. So we're just going to um, demolish this thing. And that's fine. Now, the one thing, I've learned a couple other things. Uh, if you're going to save it, if you're building a building, and it's in the process of being built and you quick save it, almost always it's gonna crash. So if you're gonna quick save, like, I, I do save a lot. I tend to save after I build something like this, just in case something gets, you know, screwed up or whatever. Um, so like right now, I can quick save, and it'll pause, but then it'll come back. So that's fine. Um, the other thing is that I actually have to run this on, like, Windows XP compatibility mode. Um, and I do it as administrator, but it, you know it always prompts you anyway. Um, before, you know, it would crash like almost every single time you would launch this game. But if you do um, go into the folder where you install it and uh, set it to Windows XP compatibility mode, it works 99% of the time. So um, I don't actually know how old this game is. I don't think it's that old. Um, so yeah, I mean, this F1 thing, like, I've seen this icon here, but I've never, never used it, and it's, it's helpful. Kind of, which is what is supposed to be, being a help file. So, like, we could probably, you know, hire some workers here, and then get rid of this, but I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Um, we do kind of want to ramp up some of these fields, because... What's going to happen here is we're going to run into... This number is going to be redonkulous, coming up pretty shortly here. I mean, this number is going to be up to, like, 500,000. And so we're going to have to... We're going to have to really, really get cranking here. Can you buy the stuff way over here? No. Okay. All right. But, I mean, there's plenty, plenty of room to, uh, to expand here. And then we can even go across the street and then over here, and then down here, so there's, you know, there's plenty of room. Um, the thing is, once you start getting into these larger animal things, like, I think I'm just going to line up the animal pens, like, along here, and then do fields up north. So, so we've got corn going, um, and I think that's good. I do want to kind of get wheat going as well. Um, just so we can get this chicken coop going. We are going to unlock the large chicken coop uh, shortly, and I will be upgrading to that. So I need to keep that in mind. So what do we got here? We got tons of chickens going on. And that's good. Uh, we need to get our cows going. never actually built one of these before, so I don't know how much they're going to eat. Probably a lot, if I had to guess. However, that barn is full. 
I'll probably get a large barn uh, when I can unlock it here. What's under storage? Yeah, so... So in my previous, or in my game that uh, I run on the weekends, um, or my save file, um, I had a mill and a, and a flower storage thing, but, you know... So if you transport a thousand liters of corn into the mill, you make a thousand liters of wheat, or I mean, uh, flour. Um, uh, which is fine. But the problem is that, you know, it takes like a billion of them to actually make any money. And so the storage, flour storage unit only holds like 20,000 liters or whatever. And it's just, I'm not, I'm not super impressed. Oh, I think I was going to build a medium-sized butchery, too. So let's, let's uh, while we're waiting for these, I guess they're almost ready to be harvested. Let's, um, let's expand a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is just, I've got plenty of money at the moment, anyway. Let's see how much this costs. 100 grand, sold. So what I'm going to do is sort of make this my, the, uh, you know, north of this road will be my, like, working area, and then this will be, south of here will be my, like, uh, supply area, let's say. So all the animal pens and stuff like that. So let's see, we got $600,000. Do we have any orders going on here? Oops, that's not what I wanted. So we've got this periodic one. Um, we've also got that one. We've also got that one. I think I might stop producing eggs because you don't really make much. It's more hassle to try and keep track of them than it does to actually get return on them. Uh, this meat one is actually pretty good. 429,000. Um, so actually, do we have enough money? to buy this. 562. And it needs 15 workers. So we would have to buy another... another main building. <laughs> You know, I think for the time being, let's just stick with a small one. Um, here, I'm going to demolish this. And then demolish this. So, in order to delete a road, you have to select the road tool. And then you can select it. Um, whatever, whatever road it may be. And then you just hit the delete key. So, <clears throat> I think actually I'm not going to do the medium butchery for now. So... So we're going to change this bad boy. Let's delete that. Because we want to make a route. So what do we got here? We got some tractors. Where's my grass thing? Right there. You know what? Let's buy another tractor so we don't have to... Uh, waste a lot of time with that. Um, I do tend to use the medium tractors for the fields, but for like moving stuff around, I just buy the small tractors because it's not really it's not really worth it. I'm gonna buy another grass harvester just just for this. So what we're gonna do is make a route. I'm calling it a route, it's not really. And use this harvester to take grass, of course. Let's say 10,000 at a time. I don't actually know if that's what handle. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we got enough workers there. Let's see how much that thing can actually hold now that I just set it to ten thousand. Capacity nine thousand, of course. So like I was saying, I've actually learned um, quite a bit from my other boo-boos that I've made in my other save file, um, specifically with the fields. Um, this whole thing with the corn and the herb herbicide. So like, this is wrong. This should be insecticide. And I believe I have some in here. Fertilizer. Oh, so uh, agricultural lime, fertilizer, herbicide. <sighs> so let's make one for uh, insecticide. Get it from Berlin. Max. Actually, we want to do like. Ah, oh, what the heck. Well, I have that one set to 200, so let's do that. Usually, I only do 200 at a time, so that's that's fine. Same thing with this one. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I kind of got those screwed up, but that's fine. So the the whole F1 menu to see what the crops require that that was a huge that's a huge difference. Um, I had some weed fields that I would regularly harvest at like 134%, um, you know, capacity, so... Okay, didn't I say go? What, what is the deal here? I think I was doing it on the wrong building. This really isn't my first time playing this game, I swear. That's much better. So he should take 9,000 and put it right in there. See, unfortunately he does have to drive back and forth, but I think once you get it going it'll be fine. Sorry if you can hear me drinking there. Alright, so we got tons of grass in there now. So let's make a route to move the beef. So we got truck for animals. Can we unlock the medium one yet? Nope. Is that next? Nope. I'm just going to do 15 and set this to automatic because I know this building can't hold more than, I mean it certainly can't hold 800 of them. So we'll just let that do its thing. And uh, as you can see we're producing meat again. And then uh, hopefully that will sort itself out. I will also get into the water subject in the next episode. Um, there are lots of different water things that we can buy. Um, oh, okay, fine, not lots, but there's the water pump and then the water tower. Now, these are good for buildings, but they're not very good for fields. Um, so what happens is the water pump will give you up to 220,000 liters, I think, a day. Um, and then the water tower will just store 110,000 liters. So what happens is you can use the water pump to pump a whole boatload of water into these water towers, and then it will save you these water subscription money. However, you know, we don't, we aren't really consuming that much water here. 
Um, and so it's not such a huge deal. Oh, that actually doesn't have water. Anyway, no wonder. <laughs> So, maybe now it actually will, now that I've... Oh, man. I'm sure somebody's noticed that, but just hasn't commented. So it made it go up a little bit. Um, the thing is, once you do get to, like, some of these larger buildings, um, like the large butchery, like this one only is four... Well, it's 400 liters a day. Um, you know, it's up in the thousands, and so some of the water... Um, those water things will help alleviate the problems. And then you can also unlock one of these, yeah, this water awareness, which I have only one of. That, that's a huge deal. Also, the electricity one. Um, yeah, they consume less electricity. That is also a huge one. Um, if you read the instructions or the F1 uh, help menu, you can actually reset the whole board here. However, um, you only get, like... It takes a month to get back up to the proper level. So let's say you reset all of this, um, and then you put all of your points into like, you know, like three or four of these. The first day, you will only get one thirtieth of that total bonus, and then the second day, you'll get two thirtieths of that bonus, and so on and so forth. So, you know, it doesn't help to m change everything around all the time. But uh, it's just a fun tidbit that I, I didn't know. You know, I seriously, I, just, I went through this whole F1 thing. I pff, Half the stuff in here I've never even heard of. So, um, especially like the machines and stuff like this. Like Harvester Bonus. Consumes less fuel. It goes faster than anything else. Has a huge capacity. You know, there's like Truck for Liquids Bonus. Trucks, Truck for Grains Bonus. Cultivator bonus, plow bonus, manure spreader bonus, cedar bonus, trailer, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff that I had never even heard of. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so basically what it's saying here is that, it, you know, the water pump essentially allows you to pump your own water. Weather in the game influences humidity, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. So the water towers, when it's raining, will fill up. Um, so then you don't actually have to use any electricity. The problem is that if you have a huge dry spell, like, you know, for like a week or a month or in a row, like, you're going to be screwed pretty much, so. All right, so we're making good progress again here. That guy's still trying to fill up this thing with cows. How are we doing on grass? Looks like we're doing good. Corn is looking good. How are we in the pH level? Oh crap, I forgot to spray it. Hey, level up. Alright, so now we can start on the chicken coop. Maybe I'll save that for the next episode. Um, first of all, let's spray this. Set that to automatic first. Um, leave those like that. Oh crap, did I just delete the... I just deleted the harvester one. Oops. So remember, I have this chain set up, so you don't want to get all crazy doing this crap everywhere. Uh, quantity will leave. So is there... yeah, the sprayer is there. Alright. Probably need to get another tractor for this one, too. I could probably have done a better job um, doing this, but... Fan is set to 200, so we'll do that. We'll spray it now with the hay. So, in my other save file, I did a much better job of segregating equipment and, and dealing with that because, you know, if you have too much, 
you can really hose everything if you have like, you know, like I only have one tractor in here. Well, the thing is, if he's off spraying and this field needs to be whatevered, you know, you can run into some some huge problems. So, so how are we doing on storage space? Not particularly well. I guess that one is fairly empty. Yeah, see, okay, right away, after I sprayed it, the yield was 108%. So it uh, it makes a huge difference to actually get <laughs> get the proper materials right. Oh, I didn't have it harvest, that's why. This is a pretty small field, so I might extend to this, and I might actually add another row of silos for wheat. Uh, so we can kind of get going on that. The chickens don't eat particularly much, so, you know, once you have a couple of these filled up, I mean, that'll last you, like, for an eternity, practically. So, I have a level up. Let's see. I think we're going to speed up the butchery, because that's, I think, where we want to, um, want to spend some effort in to kind of get this thing going. And I, I'm producing a leather or two, but I really probably don't care about that. I'm also producing eggs, which I don't probably care about either. Uh, grass, you cannot get above 100%, just to keep that in mind. So, I think that is actually a fairly good stopping point here. Um, my last episode was pretty long. Uh, this one I'm going to make relatively short. Uh, the next, you know, I'm, I'm going to try not make them, like, an hour long. But uh, I think the next episode, what we'll do is go over the uh, large chicken coop and uh, kind of moving that stuff around. And then I'll change this from corn to wheat. And then uh, we can start looking into uh, some of the pigs and stuff like that and get this butchery going. And uh, get some more money, get some more land, and uh, get a bigger farm. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.